so it's been about four days now since the death of this official server that i've been playing on for the last couple weeks now today i decided to log back into the server and check to see if maybe some new clans have joined the server for us to fight and maybe do a fun raid later on today the population is still not what it used to be before the server died a few days ago. It's currently sitting at around 15 to 20 players online right now. It's not much, but it's definitely enough for us to still be able to have some fun here. Now, before we go out and scout for a base to raid, I do want to go check on that alpha base that we planned to raid in the last episode, but we never got a chance to do it because they set up a god bubble. Here we are, this is the alpha base. Looks like somebody did end up raiding this base eventually. Now, just for anyone that might have missed the last episode, this base belonged to the last alpha clan that this server had before the server died. Once the server died, this clan ended up leaving, so I'm guessing once the god bubble expired, someone came and offline raided this place. So yeah, this base has pretty much been wiped completely, but I'm guessing this clan knew this would happen and they just body vaulted before they left. Well, now that we know what happened to the last alpha clan, we're gonna head out and do a bit of roaming and try and find ourselves the base of the biggest clan that this server has left. Now since all of the alpha clans have moved out and the population is so low and I do want today's raid to be an online raid, we're pretty limited on who we can raid but I do have one specific target in mind. I've been keeping my eyes on the player list and reading global chat and I think I finally figured out who the biggest clan is. Now we just gotta find our base. Well, thankfully that did not take all day. Check it out, we just found their base. So I just ran into this player while I was scoping out the base and they tried to spear me out of my horse. Now we're gonna go after them. Lucky for us, we'll be able to take everything this time around, or we'll just use our horse as inventory. There we go, we got everything, we're good to go. Let's get out of here. 
So I'm not exactly sure what just happened back there. I did check the player list and both of those two players are actually in different clans. The guy that we just killed, he's actually a member of the clan whose base we plan to raid later on today. So I'm wondering if that first player is maybe an ally of the clan. Well, regardless if they're allies or not, we're still coming back to raid them during raid hours. I'm going to head back to base now and start prepping for the raid. I'll be seeing you guys at raid time. All right, here we go. Time to raid. So for this raid, we're going to be trying out something new. I noticed that with the new stamina changes that came with the Age of War, a lot of players have been using heavy armor for PvP. So far, I've only ever used light armor, but I decided that I'm going to be giving heavy armor a shot for this raid and just see how I like it and if maybe it's something that I'd consider using more often. I'm really hoping that this new change doesn't backfire on us since we're going to be using the bat spell to get up to their base. So we're only going to have one shot at this raid. So if we die, that's pretty much it for us. Oh, and just for anyone that's curious, I'm currently rocking an encumbrance build. I have 20 points in agility. 20 points in vitality and 20 points in encumbrance thankfully i was finally able to get myself an agility spear so we don't have to rely on daggers for this raid i'm pretty excited to test it out and just see how it feels Alrighty, we're almost at their base it's almost time oh man just spotted a player this might complicate things yep there they are Check it out, they're actually setting up a trebuchet. Looks like they had the same plans as us. So now we're definitely gonna have some competition for this raid. Actually, now that I think about it, this could actually work to our advantage. They could just serve as a distraction on the ground while we're up there just blowing things up. We just gotta make sure that we get inside that base before that player does, which really shouldn't be too hard considering he's using a trebuchet to get in there. We're gonna set up our little stash right over here in these bushes and we're just gonna leave half of our explosives and an extra kit in here just in case we die. We can at least get some PvP out of this raid. Alrighty, bedroll is set up. I think we're ready for a raid. Let's do it. Okay, perfect. We still at least have one of them online right now. Let's also go ahead and check who this trebuchet belongs to. Oh, that's interesting so it's actually the clan of the player who attacked me earlier with his whores doesn't look like they're allies then it was probably just here scouting this base like i was when we ran into each other all right let's just get up there before they beat us to the punch we want to be the first ones in there we're just going to be our distraction on the ground and then once we're done with the raid we'll go after them Okay, perfect, we made it, safe and sound. Man, I can already tell these ceiling pieces are gonna be an absolute pain to deal with. This time I actually came prepared, unlike our last raid, we don't have to fight with a half-corrupted build. I actually just realized that I forgot to set down a vault on the ground. I'll be alright. This was a one-way trip anyway, so once we get down from here, there's no coming back up here. So I've actually never raided a base with these types of ceiling pieces, and I've been at this for a while, and I simply cannot place any bombs. So it looks like this is the only area where you're able to place these bombs. Seems like I can't do more than four bombs per one ceiling piece. But it's gonna take a good while since I'm trying to be conservative with my explosives. All right, here we go. Time for some fireworks. There we go, finally. Now we just gotta break the ceiling and we're in. I'm honestly extremely surprised that guy hasn't come out to defend yet with how long it took me to blow that ceiling top, but maybe he's just not home right now. Well, we're definitely in his event log now, so I'm expecting them to show up any minute now. Alrighty, finally we got a way in. Now let's go ahead and take a look. Someone's coming. We're just gonna go ahead and get this throw out of the way now so it doesn't get in the way later. Now 
let's just go ahead and start loading the benches. We're not going to take everything with us. We're just going to take what we need. So didn't really find anything too special in any of these benches. So now we're going to start popping these chests open. We'll start with these in case there's any dragon powder inside. Still no sign of the owner. The player list shows that he's online right now, but nowhere to be seen yet. Well, we still have all these chests to blow up, so that should give him a chance to come and defend his base. No dragon powder, just all the materials needed to craft it. So it's gotta be hidden somewhere. Well, at least we get a ton of tar to make some more dragon powder. Some decent profit. Check it out, so the trebuchet still looks intact. Doesn't look completed yet. So no action up here yet, the owner still seems to be sleeping on the job, so we're just going to keep on blowing up these chests. Nothing too good in these chests, mostly just a lot of junk. But just in case by some miracle there's something good, we'll blow the rest of these chests. And of course, <laughs> our loot bag somehow fell through the wall. There goes all of our profits. Man, that is so tragic in such a Conan way. Well, at least on the bright side, our bombs didn't get wasted completely. We actually managed to break the door to this bedroom here, and it's loaded with a ton of chests. Let's see if this loot's any better than what we've gotten so far. Oh yeah, absolutely much better loot in these chests. Actually get some armor, some explosive arrows, thralls, not bad. We got a ton of legendaries from these last few chests. Even got myself a Mordlum now. Oh, I hear the elevator. I think they're finally here to defend. Yep, there we go. They're finally here. Let's do it. Not sure if it's the lag or this armor, but it feels like I'm fighting in slow motion right now. It's so slow. Alright, so he ended up escaping downstairs, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to switch over to some light armor instead. Cause I'm gonna be real with you guys, I don't think I'm a fan of using heavy armor for fighting. It just feels like I'm moving in slow motion. There we go, we got some light armor. This already feels way better. I'm placing some bombs now to block the elevator doors. That way if he tries to come up, he's just gonna blow himself up. I hear the elevator, here he comes.
It's kind of strange that he just came up naked instead now. Actually, that might be his second teammate. There's two of them online right now. I think it might be time for us to get out of here. A 1v2 withdrawals in this confined space is way too risky since we're carrying all the loot. We got one big problem now though. Uh, I'm not really seeing a good way out of here. I hear them. They're inside now. Wish I could just jump down, but I don't think there's anything for me to grab onto once we get past these walls. Oh, I think they're coming up now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so bad. We also got some movement down there. I think someone's fighting. Honestly, I'm kind of just thinking that I should just pull my bracelet and just recover my corpse. But I'm really hesitant about doing that since we just saw them try and come up here. We would basically be giving them their loot back if they got to our corpse before we did. It just doesn't sound worth the risk. I think I'll just wait for a less risky opportunity to escape and hope we don't end up dead. Here they come. Guess we're just fighting our way out of here. Oh my goodness, this fight is way too risky. We literally have everything to lose. That archer is going to be a big problem for us. There we go. Terrible archery on my part, but at least we got him down. Now we just gotta figure out our own way down and not end up like that player. I think we'll start by blowing up this elevator and making it a bit harder for them to get up here. Now we're gonna quickly blow into the remaining rooms and destroy their beds so the next time we kill them they wake up in the desert. My goodness, I have absolutely no idea how I managed to make it out of that base in one piece. I think I might have used all of my luck for the year in that one lucky escape. Don't leave this video just yet, I'm gonna go stash this loot real quick and then we're going back to fight those guys on the ground with a proper fighter build. Alright, we're gonna try and bait them to come outside with some explosive arrows. <laughs> 